competitiveness. The Government of Kenya has identified partnerships with the private sector as a highly appropriate delivery model for many projects under the five pillars of the bottom-up economic transformation plan. Private capital is particularly ideal for developing SGR logistics and commercial hubs to be located on the way live within reasonable intervals along the SGR line. The hubs must contain adequate logistics, dry port, storage and handling, loading and offloading, as well as such other facilities that are needed to maximize the utilization of the SGR. The cabinet has granted the necessary approvals to the Kenya Railways Corporation, and I am pleased to note that many qualified investors have expressed interest, and we intend to process those interests into reality so that we can enhance, as I have said, our competitiveness. Among the investors, Grain Bulk Limited is one of the most experienced with the demonstrated technical and financial capacity in performing all the activities which constitute the envisaged business of a hub. As a fast mover, the company has already developed facilities at the inland container terminal at Embakasi exactly where we are now. I also commend the company for its substantial contribution to the development of port and railway logistics through two specialized dry uh, bulk terminals. The company has significantly improved discharge port services in Mombasa. With modern automated infrastructure, it has revolutionized fast discharge of vessels, thereby reducing freight costs, eliminating vessel demurrage, and making Mombasa the region's preferred discharge port for commercial and humanitarian relief cargo. Congratulations to Rain Bar. In addition to its 258,000 metric ton terminal for handling grain and 155 thousand ton terminal for clinker and fertilizer, both of which are at the port of Mombasa. Grain bulk handlers have completed the construction of this facility, a 134,000 <coughs> metric ton terminal here in Embakasi, equipped with numerous efficiency enhancing features, including pioneering investments in capacity to handle railed bagged cargo and the acquisition of specialized bulk containers, which we saw here and uh, somebody told me they have the patent uh, for it. Maybe we will ask you to share with the other uh, fellows who are using, who want to use the same facility. Grain bulk handlers have demonstrated the capacity of the private sector through both local and international investors to provide transformative solutions to economic productivity and enhance Kenya's competitiveness. We welcome more private sector investors to pursue opportunities in our transport, logistics, and associated sectors. The Nairobi and Eldoret uh, railway cities are some of the logistics and commercial hubs whose development is scheduled to commence this year and offers attractive investment opportunities. To encourage them, we have established a sound, predictable, and stable institutional framework with attractive incentives and guarantees to facilitate successful investment. Additionally, I direct the Cabinet Secretaries for National Treasury and Economic Planning and the Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport to identify land along the railway to be designed, designated for the development of these hubs throughout the railway transport corridor from Mombasa all the way to Malaba. As we implement this important project, we shall also facilitate our customs areas to evolve into vibrant trading and transshipment hubs serving the entire East and Central Africa region. 
We are therefore confident about the possibilities that lie in the future and encouraged by the potential that we can unlock through visionary private investment as we have witnessed uh, today. And I want to say, Mze, thank you very much for the offer you have made on getting more people to do what, by God's grace, God has enabled you to do. The offer to support others, to provide your own resources, to support others to be able also to realize their dreams is very welcome. I want to tell you that uh, already the Hustler Fund is le has lent 23 billion shillings to many Kenyans, to actually 15 million Kenyans so far. And uh, I was looking at the numbers. Nairobi alone has uh, borrowed 4 billion shillings to close to 2 million Nairob Nairobians. And the very good news is that contrary to the assertions of some of our politicians that told Kenyans to take the money and go make merry with it, 80% of Kenyans are actually paying back that money and continuously borrowing it. We have about 7 million Kenyans who are repeat 4, 5, 10, 15. In fact, we have one Kenyan who has reached almost 100 times borrowing and, and paying because they know what it means. What we have done, we have presented a budget to Parliament, our first ever budget, and we have been careful not to make the mistakes that were made in the past. We have reduced our deficit from close to a trillion to 600, million, 600 billion. We do not want to be a country that, leave be, that lives beyond its means. Last budget, we had a deficit of almost a trillion shillings. In this budget, we have reduced it to 600 billion and we have committed that our next year budget will continue to uh, have even a lesser deficit because we need to cut the cloth, the size that fits us. We cannot continue to live uh, beyond our means. We have also been careful to look at some of the taxes that impede national development and we have removed or reduced some of the taxes. As you will be seeing, we are presented to Parliament to reduce taxes on gas because we believe there is an opportunity for clean energy that also supports our quest to make Kenya a green economy. We have also uh, brought down uh, taxes on property because we want to encourage more Kenyans to be home owners. We have also reduced taxes on some of our products, tea, on some of our products, coffee, because we also want to promote our farmers, promote our agriculture as the driver of our economy, and also reduce some of the packaging uh, uh, matters on uh, our value addition ecosystem. And we have also been very careful 